Hey, I wanted to do a uh, video on um, the autopilot on a uh, local street that uh, is pretty wide and we'll see which side it leans towards the left or right. So uh, here we go. So this is uh, the street, uh, Wesley Avenue, and uh, it allows me to put on autopilot. There's no clear lines. Oh, here comes up a, a left line. So uh, I'm surprised it even allows me to put it on here. It went to follow that car, but then it realized it wants to go straight here. I'm going to set my speed for uh, 30, um, which is one mile over, or five miles over. Uh, and we'll just watch how it does here. It's uh, only picking up the left line, not picking up the right line. There's a lot of, uh, I'm going to be holding my hands pretty close here. Um, there's a lot of people just walking out, which you have to yield for, and uh, stop signs to get everyone. Actually, I think it's all lights on this road. There's a lot of bicyclers and other things, so I'm going to be ready to take over, but we're going to see if it can uh, perform in this situation. Now, since there's cars stopping at the red light, uh, the, the Tesla will stop if we were the first car at the red light, uh, I would have to take over and stop the car. Uh, I would imagine um, in an upcoming uh, release, maybe by the end of the year, uh, the Tesla will recognize uh, stop signs and red lights. But uh, this, uh, this current version, this is an HW1 uh, Tesla, I bought it a year ago in August, and um, they didn't start making the HW2 until November, October or November of uh, 2016. So I have the older autopilot, <clears throat> but it still works pretty good. Uh, now you can see that it's identifying the car in front of me as blue, so it's going to follow that car. Uh, and it steered a little to the right there because that car steered. And now it's back to navigating by the lines because of the blue lines. Um, asking me to hold the wheel there, so I just wiggled it for a second. Again, uh, it's slowing down because uh, the car in front of me is slowing down. And hopefully we won't get too close to this bicycle. We didn't. Uh, it doesn't have any lines now, so it's, taking, it's using the car in front of me uh, as its guide. Uh, and that car is going to turn, so I'm very curious what it's going to do here. It did try to follow that car. I did have to hit the brake. It may have stopped for those people, but I didn't see them on my dash, so I took over. Uh, and we're going to see if I'm going to be allowed to engage autopilot here. Uh, there it goes. So now it does. Again, we have people coming out on the street, so I'm going to have to brake here. Uh, people have the right of way. So I stopped by hand. I couldn't use autopilot. Can't uh, recognize that. Uh, in this town, it's a shore town, New Jersey shore town. Uh, people have to right away. As soon as they step off the uh, sidewalk, you have to yield for them. So I put on autopilot again. I've got a red light. Uh, I'm going to have to brake. Uh, so uh, this model, again, does not recognize red lights. If there was a car in front of me, I would have been good. Um, but uh, with no car in front of you, you have to uh, drive. So I normally would not use autopilot in this situation. I just wanted to show you what it can and can't do uh, on a local road. So I can engage it, so I just engaged it. Um, it's wobbling a little bit left and right. Uh, it's having trouble seeing both sides of the lane. Ooh, got real close to those cars there, and it's getting real close. It's got a car coming up. Uh, I got to take over there. That was just not recognizable. Didn't recognize that car at all. I can put on autopilot here. The car's stopping, so I stop. And uh, it's going to follow this car uh, and try to pick up lines going back and forth between uh, following the lines and uh, following the car. Just uh, wobbled left, picked up the left line. Now it's uh, centering itself, I think, on that, using that left line. 
So when the car on the dashboard here goes blue, it's basically lost lines and it's going to use the car in front of you to guide itself. Um, and there it goes. It's lost the lines. The car went blue and it's going to guide itself by that car. It assumes that car is driving um, successfully and uh, now it's got the line so now it's using the lines to drive. Uh, I've got a wiggle here and uh, I'm ready to take over at any time so I'm not really uh, I'm letting the car drive but I am uh, a little bit more cautious than normal with uh, ready to brake and uh, ready to steer but if you notice I am not uh, uh, the car is doing all the driving so it's gone back to using the car lost all lines it's guessing at where the road is because the car in front of us is moving and it's assuming that's where the road is um, so whenever the car is blue again it's uh, guiding itself by that car so it's actually doing a it's the, probably the longest stretch there I've ever seen of it guiding itself by that car, by a car. I have to wiggle the wheel. This road is just not lined at all. Um, but uh, and it may I might not have been able to engage autopilot in this situation. But since I had it engaged, now here the car is going to turn. So I have no idea what it's going to do. It's actually following the car. I'm going to pull over. So that was really weird. It re literally followed that car, uh, making that turn. So. That's, uh, it, it didn't have lines, so it assumed that car is a safe place to drive. So I just engaged it again. I'm surprised I'm allowed to engage it here without it having lines. I guess it sees the car. It saw the car, so it's going to let me engage. And we have a faint line here, so it might pick up that line, but it hasn't yet. It's still using the car in front of me. We've got a red light, and the cars are stopping, so able to do it here. Again, when the blue indicator here is on, that means uh, autopilot and the car is doing all the, the work, uh, braking, accelerating, and steering. Um, when I, to take over, you simply just grab the wheel or hit the brake and autopilot immediately disengages and you're... so you, you can basically take over at any time uh, with the Tesla. Um, again, this is not a road where you normally would use autopilot. You quickly learn what roads you can use autopilot uh, uh, safely and what roads you can't. So here we've got two lines, so both lines have been identified, and we're going to probably make this turn pretty good. It went a little wide because it lost the line for a second, but now it's got both lines and it's doing great steering in this situation. You can only go five miles over the speed limit on a local road, so I, even though uh, if I try, I cannot uh, tell it to go faster. It's a sharp little curve here. I have learned now we're going to potentially lose lines here, yep, but it took, it saw the car in front of me, went blue, followed that car, picked up the lines again. So it keeps jumping back and forth. Uh, as soon as it loses lines, it uses the cars car in front of you as guidance, uh, which is pretty interesting actually. So now we've got a very weird situation. I don't know whether it's going to pull this off. We've got a toll booth coming up, a very narrow navigation. Uh, I'm going to be ready with my hand on the wheel to see if it can pull this off. I don't think it's going to be able to do it. And nope, it would have hit that cone. Uh, back on a bridge, I should be able to engage it here, and uh, very nicely lined, so it's going to do just fine on this bridge here. You can watch it. Again, I still can't go over five miles over. So when you get these two blue lines here, you know it's going to be able to steer uh, fine. Uh, when those lines disappear, that's when you really don't want to be using autopilot because it's uh, guessing at where the road is. And when it lo if, it, if it has one line, it's reasonably okay. But when it loses both lines, all it can do is look for a car in front of you 
and guide by where that car is going. Uh, and that's really not too safe. So, um, okay, this is a, was a demonstration of autopilot. Just wanted to show you um, what, it, uh, what you can and can't do, on how bad it behaves really on local roads. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Nick's Life featuring my Tesla. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Tesla videos like this one. This episode was brought to you by Triangle Space. If you need an inexpensive website that looks great, I highly recommend Triangle Space. They are allowing me to make more compelling videos for my subscribers. If you use the offer code NixLife, you will get 10% off your next purchase. I really appreciate them sponsoring this channel. Thanks everyone.